Sussex disappeared after William and Kate made drastic move on royal tour after two-year absence. Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge will be returning to celebrate the St. Patrick's Day Parade with the 1st Battalion of the Irish Guards next week. After a two-year absence due to the coronavirus pandemic and logistical issues, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will return to the annual parade. Last year the parade was called off due to coronavirus restrictions and in 2020, the majority of the regiment were deployed overseas and so it was cancelled. Kensington Palace released a statement announcing the exciting comeback, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Colonel of the Irish Guards, accompanied by the Duchess of Cambridge, will visit the 1st Battalion Irish Guards at the St. Patrick's Day Parade, Mons Barracks in Aldershot on Thursday 17 March. During the parade, the royal couple will present the traditional gift of sprigs of shamrock to officers and guardsmen who will distribute them across the ranks. Kate has the additional task of presenting the Irish wolfhound mascot of the regiment with its own sprig of shamrock. The parade concludes with a march past, where Prince William, who has been the Colonel of the Irish Guards since May 2011, will take the salute. The couple will enjoy post-parade festivities as they meet members of the regiment and have official photographs with every rank within the British Army. This is followed by a visit to the junior ranks dining hall where a toast will be made to the Duke and Duchess by senior guardsmen. To honor the day last year, William and Kate posted a video on their social media wishing the Irish community a happy St. Patrick's Day. The prince was in high spirits in the video as he teased his wife for getting the easy bit. William kicked off the video speaking in Irish Gaelic saying, been that I na fail a padrick or ebb which is happy St. Patrick's Day. The Duchess followed up with, We are delighted to wish all of you a very happy St. Patrick's Day. William joked and said, How come you got the easy bit? The couple recounted their trip to Ireland in 2020 and to Northern Ireland in 2019 stating, We were so thrilled to be able to visit Ireland just over a year ago a few short weeks before all of our lives were turned upside down by the pandemic. Meeting your Bose family for the first time can be a nerve-wracking experience. But when those relatives happen to be royal it's probably slightly more daunting. Prince Harry secretly dated American actress Meghan Markle for five months before the news leaked to the world, but headlines didn't come as a surprise to the couple's families as the most important introductions had already been made. Royal expert Ashley Pearson detailed the extraordinary first meeting Meghan Markle had with the Queen in the Channel 5 documentary, Harry and Meghan vs. the Monarchy. She said, the meeting went extremely well. It actually ran over, which is an extraordinary thing for the way the Queen keeps her schedule. Meghan was warmly welcomed. Here she is, articulate, bright, intelligent, well-spoken, beautiful, elegant, what is not to like. Meghan gave her own account of this meeting in the Oprah interview, saying she had met Her Majesty at Royal Lodge, where Prince and Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, have historically been based. Meghan said she and Harry were going for lunch there and were joined by the Queen, who had been giving a church service in Windsor nearby. I remember Harry and I were in the car and he says, OK, well my grandmother's going to be there so you're going to meet her. I said, OK great. I loved my grandmother, I used to take care of my grandmother. He goes, right, do you know how to curtsy? As it turns out, Meghan had no idea that family really curtsied to the Queen in private. Meghan said, I thought genuinely that's what happens outside, that was part of the fanfare, I didn't think that's what happens inside. How does one curtsy to the Queen? Oprah asked. Deeply, to show respect, Meghan said, and I learned it very quickly. Meghan